Are you ready to just crush it in 2019? If so, guys, you are going to love this video where I'm going to give you tips and strategies to just blow away what you're able to do in 2018. I'm going to also share with you my personal goals so that way you guys can keep me accountable. And finally, I'm going to announce a very interesting project at the end of this video. So stay tuned, but we're going to get to all that after this intro. All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I am a fourth year medical student applying into internal medicine, and I've been helping both med students as well as pre-meds on how to do better on their medical journey, whether that includes studying, productivity, motivation. So if any of that resonates with you, first of all, consider giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel and join the community. But without further ado, this video is all about how to just crush it in 2019, both in medical school, pre-meds, if you're in college, or just in your personal life. I'm gonna give you some tips for in particular, as well as just transitioning into some of the goals that I have for the MD journey. Um, and then finally, I'm gonna announce a cool project at the very end for those of you guys that are interested. So let's get into the tip. So tip number one is basically a quote, and it's actually one of my favorites, which says, great things don't come out of comfort. Essentially, guys, if you want to be at a place that you have not been, you're going to have to do things that you haven't done. If you want to become a better student, you want to get better grades, you're going to have to study at least differently, if not more or more intensively. If you want to become a better clinician, you're going to have to think and practice thinking outside of your comfort zone right now because what you're doing is not going to be able to get you the results that you want to get. If you want to become a better communicator with your patients, you're going to have to enter that uncomfortable feeling ever so often where you're awkward, you make mistakes. That's how you get better. You know, a great example is last year I started this YouTube channel and not in my wildest dreams that I imagine being in front of a camera giving tips about med school. And am I perfect? And you know, one year later, absolutely not. But these videos are much better than what they were a year ago. I encourage you to watch my very first one because there was a lot going wrong in that one and it makes me cringe, but I'm better now and that's the whole point. So great things don't come out of comfort. But if you want to do great things in 2019, you're going to have to be uncomfortable more than you were in 2018. So tip number two, and this works really well for the students and my viewers and subscribers that are interested in becoming a better student. Maybe you have step one or the MCAT or step two later this year and you just wanna do better. Um, so the tip is to remove the fluff. There is so much that we do, particularly when we study, that doesn't give us results. If anything is wasting our time or giving us poor um, outcomes. So evaluate everything you do, whether that's studying, how you interact with people, you know, whatever your goal is, and ask yourself, what am I doing that's not giving me results, but it's causing me to waste time and effort? Um, so if that means that you're doing something, for example, if you're reading the syllabus, but you don't actually get anything out of reading the text, maybe you substitute that for something that does give you results. Whatever it may be, just be critical on everything you do. Remove the fluff because at the end of the year, if not literally, you're going to be figuratively a more lean individual and version of yourself. Things are just going to become much more efficient, productive, and that is uh, something that I can speak to. You know, if I'm always evaluating what things I can take out, and when I look at myself at the end of the year, I know I'm a little bit of a better version of myself because I removed the fluff. So tip number three, and this is something that I give through a lot of my videos, is to have the end in mind. You know, one of my favorite quotes is, how would the person that I want to be do the things that I'm about to do? So if you have a goal for the version of yourself you see at the end of 2019, ask yourself what that person would do and then you know basically reverse engineer it. how uh, would they get there what goals would they try to accomplish how strategically and specifically do they get to that point and it just becomes a lot more clear if you imagine yourself as that person who's already accomplished it so have the end in mind it really works wonders versus just having a goal and you know blindly trying to get there so tip number four is a specific way to basically achieve all your goals it's called my one for one technique and there's a specific reason that I made this video at the end of January versus at the very start of 2019 because now the New Year's resolution motivational 
um, kind of high is gone. And you guys have to be real with yourself on whether you've actually stuck with those resolutions that you've had. The one for one technique is a very specific way versus, you know, a New Year's resolution on how to accomplish your goals for the year. So basically what it is, is that the one for one technique represents an annual goal, quarter goals, as well as monthly goals. So you have one big annual goal for whatever you may want to do. So in med school, you may be having a specific uh, score on step one, if that's something you want to do. You may have a personal uh, annual goal. The four represents four quarterly goals. So you have one for spring, one for summer, one for fall and one for winter. And it's something you just want to be able to do every three months. These are kind of micro goals that you have yourself focus on versus something that takes 12 months, which is a little overwhelming. And then finally, you have monthly goals. You have one thing that you want to be able to accomplish. So a great example is when I make my blogs and I'm doing the MD journey, there is a goal at the end of every single month. Some of them are number goals, which is trying to get a specific amount of subscribers for the YouTube channel. And some of them are just outcome goals, you know, try to send out um, X amount of emails uh, referring to blog posts that I've made. And so I have to make those blog posts to send out the emails. Um, so one for one technique really works wonders because you are focused at a time, uh, a shorter time frame versus 12 months. So try it out. Um, let me know what you guys think. But I really do think it'll help you transform what you're able to accomplish in 2019. So now guys, I'm going to quickly transition into some of the goals that I have for the MD journey. Kind of want to give uh, a little bit of honesty, uh, transparency on what I want to accomplish because that way you guys can me accountable at the end of the year when I watch this video and see which ones I accomplished and which ones I didn't. So the first one, then that's kind of a number goal, most of these are, is I want to be able to get this channel to 25,000 subscribers. That goal is kind of arbitrary. It's actually much higher than uh, the channel is probably projected to get, but I want to get there. And so now I need to reverse engineer how I'm going to arrange the channel, what things I need to change to be able to get to those kinds of numbers. Currently at the making of this video, I'm about 1200 to 1100 subscribers. So I'm really gonna have to 25X my outcomes and we'll see how far I get. But I do have some plans for the YouTube channel and really just transforming both the quality as well as the frequency of content. So hopefully you guys are excited. Um, tip number two is I really want to continue the ball of creating different content and products on helping a specific audience. And so last year I wrote three books and made two video courses and so today, or at least this year, the goal is to write two more books as well as to release at least two more courses. And so I have in mind what those are gonna be, but we'll see um, if I'm able to accomplish them, especially now that residency is coming um, quickly down the line and I'm getting married. So that's two things that really will um, kind of take away the amount of time I'm able to spend on the MD journey. But don't worry, I think I'm gonna be able to do it. Um, finally, the next thing is working on Project X. And so I'm not going to be very specific on what Project X is, but I'm going to give you a chance, uh, if you're interested, on being a part of the creation of Project X. So at the comment uh, in the description, you can go ahead and see a link. It basically adds you to a list uh, of people that are interested, and I'm going to just send you out uh, info about what Project X is, and then you are going to be able to help me craft kind of the final product. Um, so if you're interested on helping up the basically the newest and biggest uh, change that MD Journey is going to make in 2019, then I encourage you to check out the link in the description below. I'm going to need your help and um, there is going to be a lot of benefits of being part of that group. So if you think you have some time to just answer some emails and give me some feedback, then I think uh, we are going to work really well as a team. So again, if you're interested in Project X, which I plan on creating this year, then go ahead and check out the link in the description. But basically guys, that is the end of this video on how to just crush it in 2019. Remember the four goals, which is you have to get out of your comfort zone. You need to have the end in mind. You need to understand basically to remove the fluff and finally use the one for one technique to arrange your goals in a very specific way. And I promise you, you're going to become a different version of yourself than you were in 2018. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give a like subscribe to the channel and join the community and to help me get to my 25,000 uh, subscriber goal. If this video helped you and if you have been a subscriber for a while, just share this video with one person uh, that you think it could help or just share the channel. Um, help me get to as many med students as possible, as pre-meds as possible. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. As always, I'm going to stop babbling like I always do and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.